Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are starting size fat file for secondary classes. This is Oxford. This is for grade six. We will be starting from the chapter one science skills. So we will be going through the important topics in this one because it's very initial. Okay, basic things are covered in this chapter. So let's start from the science. What is science? Okay. Science is about obtaining knowledge by observation. It is to obtain knowledge, to get knowledge, to get knowledge, okay. Science is to get knowledge through observation. We observe the things, okay. And we do the experiments, experimentation, and we get the knowledge. The knowledge that we get, okay, we use that knowledge to describe and explain natural things. This knowledge is used to explain natural things. So basically, science helps us to describe natural things if we try to get knowledge through observation and through experimentation. Okay, so this is science. It helps us to understand everything around us. We explore the world. Okay, it helps us to solve problems and train our minds to think in a logical way and in a systematic way okay science has several areas and you already know some of those areas like biology chemistry you are well aware of biology chemistry physics these are the these are the branches of science okay so we will go through the basic definitions or the ideas about these things biology bio means life okay it is the study of living things okay biology it is study of living things these can be plants or animals it is the study of the living world around us it covers everything from what goes on inside the bodies of animals and plants to the natural environments where they live and upon which they rely for food and shelter so basically we study the systems inside the plants or animals how they are using the air and the food where do they live okay and what are the conditions favorable for their living what are their food chains okay so their habitats these things we study about the plants and animals modern technologies such as biotechnology and microbiology are based on application of biology okay so this is basically study or the knowledge of plants and animals okay then we discuss chemistry it is that branch of science which studies all the substances that make up the physical world around us this world is made up of matter or we can say that all the substances are made of matter so we study all the substances and water and matter to study the world okay it is a study of all the substances that make up the physical world around us it covers the physical properties and the reactions of all the elements and compounds we study elements compounds molecules atoms okay which which are present around us 
we look, we study their properties and their reactions. Okay. Modern technology is in the petrochemical industry. Petrochemical industry means where there is petroleum or chemicals and pharmaceutical, where we where we make for this uh, medicines. Pharmaceutical industry are based on applications of chemistry. Okay. So then we go to the physics. What is this physics all about? Physics is that branch of science which we are in we study the physical world around, around us. Okay, it covers everything from the nature of the tiny particles that make up atoms. Okay, we study tiny particles okay in physics we see the laws that control the galaxies as they move through the universe modern technologies such as electronics and information technology are based on applications of physics okay so there are many scientific discoveries that scientists have made but they all had to start somewhere just like you they had to start at the beginning they had to learn how to investigate a problem and using instruments to make take measurements and how to handle the information they obtained and above all how to work safely. So there are certain rules to work in the laboratory. You should be wearing the gloves, the uniform, you should be neat and clean, okay? And avoid touching anything which is harmful, okay? Follow the rules, okay? So these are basic things you need to follow, safety rules when you enter into the laboratory taking measurements okay so measurements is about we study here length what is length length of an object can be measured with ruler or a tape measure we can measure it by a ruler or we can make it a measure it with tape measure that is also called my inches tape we have almost in all the homes so the units of length you know they can be meter kilometer millimeter centimeter these are the measurements these are the units of length okay kilometer is also if we talk about the big distances kilometers actually length is the distance between two points it can be a big one bigger one like kilometer or meter it can be a small one like centimeter inches millimeter etc okay so after that volume volume is the space occupied by an object it is space occupied by an object object is a matter okay definition of matter is that it has mass and it occupies space okay if you put water in a glass so it becomes heavier so it means the water has a mass it has some weight okay and also the container or the glass inside has space so you when you fill the water so it occupies that space okay so matter can be liquid gas or plasma okay so basically volume volume is the space occupied by an object okay the volume of a regular shaped object such as a cube can be found by multiplying its length c they are saying that if you have something like this a block you can say it is in this form okay so this will be length okay this will be width and this will be height 
so this is a regular shape okay so this is a regular shaped object okay so we can easily find the volume by multiplying all three sides length into width into height so we get the volume okay so you must use a measuring cylinder if it is irregular okay this was a regular shape okay so if an object is a irregular shape okay then we use measuring cylinder measuring cylinder okay this is used to find volume of irregular shaped object okay the units of volume can be liters l i t r e s we use symbol of l it can be millimeters ml okay it can be centimeters cm okay these are the units of volume okay so we write cubic centimeter cm cube okay which is also its unit now we move to the next page where we have mass on page number 6 when we study mass it is the amount of matter in something what is mass it is amount of matter in something so when you have a tennis ball in your hand the the ball which is used to play cricket you know from its side it is hollow nothing is inside so its mass is less but when you hold a hard ball it has more mass because from inside it is filled okay this is filled from inside okay so there is more matter in this one so its mass is more it is heavier than this okay so by this example you can very well understand that it is amount of matter in something so it has more matter than this one okay so we use weighing scale or a balance to find mass and for the mass we have grams kilograms are the units okay now we talk about the temperature what is temperature it tells us about the hotness or the coldness of something okay so it means how hot something is how hot something is it is called temperature temperature of something can be found by using a thermometer you know it's very well that we need or use thermometer to use to find temperature we use centigrade kelvin and fahrenheit okay for these are the scales three scales which are used to measure temperature okay temperature means how hot something is the temperature of something can be found by using a thermometer degree celsius sometimes called degree centigrade or the units of temperature on the celsius scale the numbers were chosen so that water boils at 100 and freezes at 0 so they say that for this thermometer they have if let's suppose put 0 here so it goes up to If we say zero is here, so hundred is here. Okay, they have taken this zero because it is freezing point of water, and this is boiling 
point of water okay so the lowest possible temperature is called absolute zero okay when we use the kelvin scale so there we say minus 273 centigrade okay this is called absolute zero temperature the lowest possible this is the lowest possible the lowest possible temperature is called absolute zero for some scientists scientific work it is convenient to use it is easy to use a temperature scale starting at absolute zero this scale is called the kelvin scale okay so this absolute zero it is where in kelvin scale okay this is centigrade scale this is kelvin this is for kelvin scale okay we told you that there are three scale fahrenheit centigrade and kelvin and as degrees which are the same as those on the celsius scale thus 273 k equals 0 and they say that like this one okay they have 100 this uh, uh, marks okay so this one is called the lowest is if it is minus 273 lowest add plus 100 so actually they start from 273 0 and this is 373 okay so thus 273 equals 0 and 373 equals 100 273 is equal to 0 okay and 370 is equal to 100 okay the fahrenheit scale has much smaller degrees than the kelvin and celsius scale on this scale water freezes at 32 there is another scale where it is called fahrenheit scale it is small it has smaller degrees than kelvin and celsius water freezes at 32 we say this is not this 32 this is not zero this is 32 here water freezes okay and this is 212 here it is boiling point so they are different here in celsius scale zero is for the freezing point and 100 is for the boiling point whereas in fahrenheit scale 32 is for the freezing point and 212 degrees this, this that is for uh, boiling point of water okay now we move on to time time is the duration time can be measured with a stop clock or stop watch how to measure time is using clock stop clock or stop watch if you are used stop watch if it is it is on zero if you press on then after a certain time if you stop so you can calculate the time how much time has been elapsed passed on passed okay so we know that seconds minutes are the units of time commonly used in science we also have hours so this is about the time so we move ahead there are small small things that you need to study and do yourself now we will be moving to question uh, chapter number 2 in the next video